If you have a PA speaker or if you have a outdoor sound system with something like this, which is a, a standard 1 8 inch style plug, which is a, a PA speaker, which is used for general uses. They're used all over the place. Libraries, outdoor entertainment centers, backyards, pools, uh, I mean game centers, I mean you name it. I mean industrial, residential, commercial, they're everywhere. Um, if you find yourself with a PA speaker and it has a 1 8 inch plug or if it has any type of plug that you want to modify to convert to fit your own needs because in some cases you might have uh, either something like this is a, which is a 1 8 inch mono jack because this is a mono speaker, it's a non-stereo or you might find yourself with something like this which is a 3.5 millimeter which is what you'd find on a, a standard MP3 audio output jack for an iPod or an Android or something like that or something like this which is an RCA you might have a combination of one of these different types of plugs and you want to connect one to the other but you're not really sure how I'll show you a quick trick on how to do it so you can take the fear out of doing this type of scenario because really all this stuff is all designed to work with each other and in a lot of times it's not like it used to be back in the days where you could just jump in your car run to a Radio Shack and just get the adapter because Radio Shack is not the Radio Shack that I remember that's for sure it's a useless place where they sell TVs and little things that go beep and they don't even have anything like they should have in my opinion. So what you got to do is you got to be a little bit more ingenuitive these days and you got to know how things work. So you can do it, do it on the cheap which is always the better and it's always good to have the knowledge and know how to do it. So here's what I suggest you do. For instance, this PA speaker which has this 1 8 inch jack, say I want to connect this to a standard radio amplifier output which is just two, two wires like this speaker wire. I want to connect the speaker wire to this. Now, first thing you need to know is what's the phasing of the speaker? Which is the positive and which is the negative? Because you want to have your speakers in correct phasing. You don't want to just do it, you know, and and, and do the old pray and hope method. You want to know for sure what you're doing and how, how it's being done properly. So here's what I suggest you do. Take a multimeter such as this, set it to continuity, which is going to typically look like this, where it's going to have a little audible sound wave, which is what mine has and almost everyone Craftsman's flukes, they all pretty much have a standardized type of logo. Now what you do is set it onto there, take your two probes, when you touch these two together it's going to make an audible sound. Like that. So that's letting you know that you're connecting one to the other. So if you're on one side of this plug, say for instance on this 1 8 inch jack, the outer tip is going to be the positive terminal of this PA speaker. The back one is going to be the negative terminal on this speaker. Don't take for granted that you know, the, the stripe w wire is positive because in a lot of cases it's the complete opposite. So never take that for granted. The right way to do it is do this. And this is just a simple two wire type of deal. So I'm going to separate these two, lay it down, and I'm going to connect one terminal of my meter to the top half of the 1 8 inch jack, which is going to be my positive and just touch through the insulation on the wire and there you go I can hear audibly that this here is the other end of the positive terminal of my speaker so in this case the positive wire is positive that's going to be that so your negative is going to be the solid non-stripe wire so with that said you can just cut these two off take your speaker wire which would be here and of course on this you're going to know which is positive and which is negative so in my case my red would go to my stripe wire, my solid black would go to my black, and then I'd have a perfect perfect connection, no problem at all. And again, once you disconnect that, you could take that, you could put it into an adapter, you can put pigtails, RCAs, the sky's the limit. I mean, whatever you wanted to do, but just make sure you do it the right way. So my advice is always is to use a multimeter. They come with manuals. They're very easy to use, and they're a wonderful thing to, to, to know once you mastered all the basics of using one. This works great for PAs, home speakers, car speakers, marine, boat, you name it. This thing is great. 